we've brought three vehicles to the SCI this year. We have the MTV, medium tactical vehicle, the MUV, and right behind you, we have the Viking uncrewed ground vehicle. So we have two conventional vehicles, obviously different in terms of gross vehicle weight. Uh, one obviously being armored, and the MUV in particular is a ambulance variant. Uh, and it's one of our lighter platforms, a platform that's highly configurable and potentially meets the, uh, an area of interest for the UK for the land mobility program. So IDV entered the UK uh, two years ago. It hasn't really had a presence in the UK for uh, some 20 years. And IDV sees the UK as a really important market and a credible market that it wants to be part of and it's part of its growth plan. So it acquired a company, a small company, to specialise in the development of uncrewed ground vehicles in 2023. And using that as an entry point into the UK, it's building its UK presence for its more conventional vehicles. Part of the reason for buying the uncrewed ground vehicle business is so they could accelerate its capability in uncrewed ground vehicle technology. So IDV UK already has an engineering team that focus on uncrewed ground vehicle technologies. We continue to build that capability, build the product and build the, the technology. Uh, that technology and products we are now engaging with overseas markets across Europe and North America, obviously looking for uh, commercial programs and also actively working with our customers on R&D programs to help understand the best applications of uncrewed technology. So we continue to build that capability, but also based on the demands of the UK customer, we'll build capability to support them with their needs. And the, the two main programs at the moment are the uh, land mobility program and the MDL or material distribution land program. Lots of interest as normal. So I suppose you can split into two groups those globally and UK who are very interested in the uncrewed ground vehicle capability, either the platform or the, the technical capability, the tech stack that sits on top, um, and the particular configuration we have here where we have iStar, a remote weapon system, joined together, working seamlessly together to enhance missions, reduce operator burden and improve effectiveness. So our customers are really interested in that. Um, and if I focus on the UK customer, they're very interested in what we have to offer for the land mobility program, particularly with the MUV, which is a highly configurable variant that can support applications such as ambulance variants, troop carrier, or more sort of logistical support vehicles.